Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Julie at Crafts of Cute and I'm back to working on our lunch bags, <clears throat> lunch bag journal. And I've decided I'm going with an Asian theme. And here's our oriental doll that will be a, um, just a decorative um, band that's going to go I'll have her on top and then I'll have the elastic band on top as a decorative piece and I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I do her hair to complete her and then I am going to let me just show you what I have here let me set her side this is not attached yet let me set her here and this is the journal that we've been working on um, now the journal that we finished was when you open it up open this here and then there's the lunch bag in here and then you can then open it up okay so now what I want to show you let me set this aside as well oh, let's just get this tucked under here is the papers that I'm using from uh, Andrea Allen at Artie Mays. I'm using her Asian kit and I printed off. It took me a while to complete this because I was trying to figure out how to run my tracing paper through my Epson printer. Um, it's an Epson EcoTank printer. Um, I don't I forget the name, uh, the number. It's like an Epson tank 2760 or something like that. Um, just running it through just with the tracing paper kept getting stuck in my printer. So I came up with this plan and I think a lot of crafters may have already figured this out. I didn't. I had trial by error, trial and error. So I took my tracing paper which is right here as you can see laid it on um, a copy paper and then I glued one end right at the very edge and then I put washi tape just to secure it um, at first I just had the washi tape here but it kept gathering so I ended up having to add the washi tape here on the sides and then I figured out that on this all I needed to do was after I glued this I did like a tiny a sliver of glue attached it to the copy paper and then I just added four washi tape um, as you can see right here and right here just ever so slightly attached it so that the run ink doesn't run off onto the washi and then I ran it through and it worked it just it took the paper so as a result I'll show you uh, my first one I started to cut out is this one that I printed out okay and this is what this looks like so when I I was going to cut this well, let me show you Where's my scissors? Scissors, scissors. And so what I did was I cut around because if you could see that there's a little border right here and I just cut it off. And then, ooh, rice paper. I have my overhead fan on and I think I'm going to have to turn it off so my tracing paper doesn't fly off my desk while I'm trying to work on it and I will do that here in just a minute after I show you what I do I'm using the scissors because not a lot of people have a rotary cutter so I'm just using what I started out with scissors and then oops let me see if I can oops I didn't I guess I didn't cut it well enough let's see if I can take this without 
ruining my there we go and now I can oops now this is not after I have cut it down this is no longer an 8 by 11 8 and a half by 11 copy paper so I'll use this on other projects and I have one in mind that I saw Andrea do with inks the de, her um distress oxides oh just beautiful you got to go and look at it and it's just amazing beautiful work and she found it off of pinterest so go to hers um andrea allen at arnie mays and look at that it's just amazing um i sent her a, a little note saying that how just watching i've been wanting to do a memory journal for myself ocean themed floral-esque sort of that whitewashed look and trying to figure out how I want to do the florals and then when I saw that video I was like oh my gosh done deal and it's amazing how a piece of art would just translate transfer you to you know the sights and the, the smells and you know the emotion and I haven't been, I'm from originally San Diego, California. And my favorite beach there is the La Jolla Cove. And before I left, um, I arrived here in 2007 in Georgia. Um, I went and just took a quiet sabbatical along my favorite beach. And these new homes are being built right on the beachfront there in La Jolla Cove. And it had all these beautiful wildflowers just dancing about in the ocean breeze. And and I just, that memory has stuck. And the, that flower, that floral um, card that she made just brought that back so clear, crystal clear. I could feel every emotion. Even right now, I feel like tearing up because... I miss home. I haven't, I've been home back in 2009 when I had to go and um, bury my brother, you know, and didn't have time to stay and go and visit the beaches. And then I haven't been home ever since. And yeah, I've been an ocean girl. I'm, I've lived on the ocean my whole entire, pretty much my whole, up until my latter adult years surfing and stuff like that before my knee surgeries which ended my surfing days but yeah the beaches were my second home if people were wondering where I'm at all they had to do is look along the coast you know and you can only catch me at a few beaches favorite beaches of mine that I would go to Oceanside Harbor um, which is um, around the military bases, um, downtown Oceanside, Carlsbad, uh, Del Mar, and La Jolla Cove. But my surfing place were Carlsbad, Oceanside, primarily, and then occasionally Long Beach up there and around Huntington Beach. But anyway, I wanted to show you before I start tearing up. This is the result this is the tracing paper and what I decided that I'm going to do is because growing up you know I was born in Okinawa Japan my father was stationed there where he met my mother and I was born on Naha in Naha um, Okinawa uh, where my father was stationed and my grandmother lived up on um, a hill a cliff an ocean cliff and I just thought you know I want to create an and I remember our doors as that's where I was headed to um there were the sojis they were the um like rice paper doors let me show you what I'm like a, a soji screen um let me show you what I mean this is, if you can see that, 
that's a, 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 so, a shoji. And I'm going to create, that's why I printed it out in this rice paper. Because I'm going to take some black cardstock and cut out these strips and create a, a screen, make a soji screen that will, if I can take one of these out very carefully without losing all of my paper goodies. Ah. Okay. Yikes. Okay, I've got one too many. I hope it, let me just put this away. So my thinking is, let me get my phone out of the way now, is to make a soji screen. Let me show you. It's going to look like this, but it's going to have the, this is going to be a soji screen. That's what, that's what we're going to make today. What I'm going to attempt, this is just a, my, my thought that goes in my head, what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to, oh, here, let me pull that piece of paper out. Okay, if you've watched my other videos, I showed you how we made these, which is going to be like when you open this up, ooh, when you open this up, you have the first page, second page, and then you have this like middle signature, which this is going to be right here, a tuck spot, okay? So we'll be able to put something here. So I, when I make the Soji screen, what I haven't decided yet was, do I want to put, let me see, let me see if this is going to, I'm thinking about doing this. Let me straighten that out. Doing this. So when you open up the Soji screen, then you have this first page that's decorated. Okay. Then the second page that's decorated. Okay. And then all of this piece won't be visible. And then the scrap will be used to decorate other parts of the journal. So I want to cut it off here and that way and then I'm not attaching these yet because I'm going to I'm thinking about sewing it but I'm not sure because if once I make the, the little black strips to make the screen I don't think I need to sew it so I'll just cut this off to size and then that way it will still end up being a you know pocket unless I do huh in fact if I fold this over like, oops, let's get this. Let's get this right here. And I, I fold this. In fact, that's what we're going to do, okay? Because this is really, that's a great idea. Okay, let me, let's just cut that off right now. Let's just get her done, okay? So let's, and I'll show you these others. We'll take this apart, okay? Let me just show you some. Because I printed, oh, well, let me just show you the other des design factors that we have. So we have this one. And I printed off two of these, okay? Because I knew, no, I'm going to need some more of these because I might add some of this to the front of our journal. Okay, so there's that. And then I have Koi. And then I have this one. Wouldn't that be a beautiful Soji screen, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then here's sort of like a line paper version, but I love the bird right here. The oriental birds. Okay, because that will make a beautiful design in a soji, as a soji screen, right? And then here's this one. So, let's get this done, and let me show you. So, if you have any, and again, this is Andrea Allen's 
um, Asian kit. Okay. Love it. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to work on this first page and I'll show you how, and then we'll, we'll put our doll together. Okay. Let's just show you this, what we're going to do because we need this measured if we're going to make this turn this into a screen, right? going to see where this crease is right here I'm going to have to cut that much off of it okay so that's probably going to be three is that three quarters of an inch one two yep that's three quarters of an inch let me trim off three quarters of an inch Do I need to zoom you guys in so you can see this close? Okay. Oh, trying to use my warped pad. To measure three quarters of an inch yep that's three quarters of an inch so I'm going to line up this and these little strips I'm going to be using to make washi out of that and I got my my husband ordered my tape where is my rotary cutter okay there it is look at how beautiful that would make as a washi tape isn't that gorgeous yeah can imagine it being on a white piece of paper look at that washi isn't that just beautiful Oops, there that goes. See, I'm going to have to turn off my overhead fan. All my goodies are going to fly away. Fly away. Anyway, <laughs> when I was, you know, watching Andrea Allen's, that card that she was making out of ink, like making it look like it was a watercolor painting, um, Come on, line her up, line her up. Okay. Oh, did I cut off way too much? Walk a do, walk a do. My mom used to say that. I don't know if it was actually even a Japanese word. Walk a do. I don't know if it means understand. Okay, or wakarimaste. Wakarimaste. I think that's what. That it, you know, I don't know. I growing up, I spoke. Japanese that was my language until my father was um, stationed out at Camp Pendleton and when we were going to school my dad said no more, no more Japanese strictly the English language but you know when I 
when I sit down, when I when I hear someone speaking Japanese, I almost can understand it, but I I'm not so sure of myself what I'm hearing. You know, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so now let me show you how this is gonna look. Where is that other piece? Right here. Okay, so here's our soji. Oh, 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 no, hang on. Let's cut this little bit off right here. Oh, I brought this because my husband, <laughs> when I had him order me some stuff, he ordered my pokey tool that he says that he continues to say he did not lose okay honey all right okay <sighs> and here's another strip oh I tore it oh well it's okay we like little scraps like that here's another little piece for washi okay now we're gonna I'm gonna do the black frame in here and I'm layering this now onto the next paper okay there's five of these so here's the soji I'm gonna, and then we'll be able to open up the soji screen okay and then here's our going to be our first decorative piece. I don't know what we're going to use yet to decorate this with. Okay. And then we open up our second piece, right? And now here's our tuck spot. Right? And then that's going to be for one set. I may end up meaning to cut out a total of six of these because I have let me show you put this as a paperweight I hope I was on screen the whole time okay let me move all of our little beautiful pieces parts let me grab oh I have four of these I actually made five of these in my video but I I was working on my idea thing and I left one of these one of them fell out it's in the living room but it's gonna be like this okay so let's put this dangerous thing away so we made four a total of five but I think I'm gonna need six because this one is gonna be like the first oh, excuse me first like signature then we'll make another screen here like this a soji and then it'll open up and then we take the second page and then here's the center this will be our center piece of the signature okay and then the tuck spot and then we'll have and as we make the screen it'll be folded over like get this over here. Like this. Okay. So there's one signature. This will be the second one, so we'll cut out and I'll finish all these other off screen just so we can complete one. Okay? We'll complete one section. So I'll put this back over here. So if we complete this, then we can move on to completing the stall. And what I, my idea for her is this. This is my template. I have a template here that cuts out her main hair out of black card. And this lays up just like this. It's going to lay down here. And then let's just cut her hair out 
So what I do is I try and use up every bit of my little scrap bits. And this is my this was a scrap card. So I'm I'm scrap busting, right? I'm trying to use up my scraps and doing this. And then I get just get my pencil. Oops. And trace her out. The hair out. Like so. Uh, uh. These are my templates. And I'll show you how The hair will be laid out. Man, if Rachel at Roxy Creations were cutting this out, she would have been done already. She can fussy cut lightning speed. Have you ever seen her? If you haven't, good Rachel. She's an awesome creator. Designer. Okay, so now I have two pieces, okay? Oops. I have two pieces uh, for another doll. So I'm going to get my little thing of a bobber out and put this extra hair away. And that's going to be her hair. These are my templates. Put my little scrappy bits away here. Then... Just move this out of the way so and this is what her hair is going to look like okay so I will glue this on oh, my fingers my little thumbs do not work that great anymore for gripping strength and you know oh and I was watching Gail Gustinelli totally love her um, Yikes. Okay. The hair is going to be going like this. Because I want it to... It to resemble like her hair is flying away. In the breeze like. I think that's how I was doing my it's been so long since I made my paper dolls my oriental doll I think that's how I had her hair huh I've got to look at my other dolls. I don't know where they're at. I already have two. I should have found them, but I had so many errands to do. Oh, and by the way, because we're going to... Um, see my granddaughter this weekend. It's her birthday. She's turning four. Actually, she already turned four in January, but we've had to postpone it because of their move. And, you know, she doesn't realize when her birth date is actually her birthday, you know. Oh, my gosh. I think that's how I did her hair. I made my template. This is my template. Yes. You know why? Because <laughs> I forgot to do something. Then I take... this and cut out that's why it just didn't look correct to me 
Let me just see how many I add. I think perhaps I should just glue this down so I'm not having to try and hold this and this back piece. Oh yes. Okay, I gotta glue her down because this, this hair. <laughs> because it's it's driving me bonkers right now. Okay. So let's get her her hair extensions on. I better get this right because this art glitter glue. Once you put it on, it is on. Okay. So does that look straight? I'm looking at her and then that's what that looks like in, from the back and then once I put her hair piece on here like so then I And I took her hair like so. So it's something like that. And I have others where I do like little, you know, the way the Japanese put their hair up, you know, different styles, little buns and things like that. I think that's how I want it yeah, because her hair has to come up and need to. This is probably not the right scissors to be doing this project too big. I should have used my tiny little ones. Okay. See? Now, I could... Okay. Let's glue this on. Let's get her hair on. See, I have a problem with this I I just cleaned this out and probably because my glue. Where is that tissue paper? What did I do with that tissue paper? Ugh. I guess it's going on my hands. Ugh. Let's hope this glue will come out. Yes. I'm just doing it right there. Now, if you guys want me to show you how, oops, I make this paper doll, I will show you how to do her, the kimonos, oh, who's on my hands, getting on her hair. Okay, so now I got her hair on, right? And then I think I'm just going to trim this down. There we go. Now, I could have made her hair a little bit longer. But I didn't. I could have I could have probably brought it down. I just I don't know. I think I like that look. What do you guys think? Probably. Okay, so there's her hair. Like her hair is just kind of like whipped in the wind. The back of her hair, you know. Standing in the wind and you're, the back of your hair just 
kind of flows, you know, whips around. That's the effect that I was going for. So that's her, and then I will do her face, but not right now because my hands feel a little fatigued. I might mess up her. I might mess up her eyes. So there's her with her hair. Now, in my previous video, I was saying I might flip this up. Flip this up like so. And you know how the geishas have a fan, right? I'm not going to put a fan. I don't know what die cut this was. I don't know if it was a Tim Holtz die cut. If you could see this flower, how I'm opening it up. See? I'm lifting up these little stamens. Oops. I went way too far with that one. Okay, and then just ever so slightly fluffing it up. And then back here opens up just like this. And I'm wanting to add more black because the papers, the digitals that I printed off onto tracing paper has got black in it. So I'm thinking something like that. No, see, I, I need that. I, think I need that white in the background for this. So I'm thinking instead of a fan, she is holding a flower. Oops. I get that stamen up. Something like that. Something like that, and but it's just so stark white, isn't it? I don't know if I like that white, or I should just okay, fix her sleeves. Now, I have different dolls that have different lengths from her kimonos. I'll have it where it's really, it hangs really low. I've got a few kimono designs. Oops. Something like that. Or I was thinking about let's put some flower elements down below her kimono. And this comes up, this flange is open like so. Something like, ugh, my fingers just don't want to work today. They've been fatigued. Something like that. Uh, see? Let's get her into frame. Let me get you guys in a bit closer to see her. So imagine her, I'm going to have put her on an elastic band, she'll be up front here, she'll be, ha she'll have an elastic band that comes from the, from the back, I'll put it through the holes and then she'll tie it around, maybe I got you too close. Let's back you down a bit. So I'm thinking something like that. 
And I have some that I've created where she's holding her, you know, Japanese guitar. I don't know what they're called, you know. So that would be her on this. And I may have some other things, add in some extra color to bring in the colors of, you know, not so much that, but let me show you. Here's this one. Oh, let me zoom you out so you can see. See, it's got some of these, that blue in there. And then here's that. Here's the koi. Here's that. So let's just see, adding, I don't know. Hmm. When it's all said and done, you know, maybe I may get a butterfly and then put a butterfly here. Oh, so I haven't attached this yet because I'm not sure, quite sure how I want. I want like have some and then, okay, there's that flower and then I have these other little flowers. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let me show you this other one here. So we have this flower. It's a die cut. Ooh. Yeah, my fingers. Oh, going back to Gail Gustinelli, she started doing some slow stitching and she put on these gloves. They're compression gloves. So here we are. And then I can lay something like that. With the flowers climbing up her kimono. or having a flower in hand. See how pretty she is? Something like that. And I cut this out of a um, card craft that had text on it. So that looks pretty cool, right? Okay, let me get these guys over here. So that's her. Not sure how her design is, but, um, oh, Stacy Hunt, who's been commenting quite a bit on my, on my videos, Tracy Hunt. She was saying she couldn't wait to see what kind of hair design that she was going to have. And so that's it, Tracy. That's the first design. I have other hair designs, but the tall um, oriental dolls have that type of hair, long hair. Oh, hang on, let me do something real quick. All right, so, yes, I believe that's her name, Tracy Hunt. Hi, Tracy. Thank you so much for commenting. I, I thoroughly love your encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, what do you think, Tracy? That's her hair. And I'm thinking about adding these flowers to her kimono. And I'm sure you'll let me know what you think. I'm not going to do her face because I might mess up. My hands are so fatigued from today. Well, actually last night and then today doing errands. Um, to clean up my kitchen. And then I made uh, my homemade pasta sauce. And spaghetti noodles. And it's just... 
I what I did was do a did a mushroom sauce and I used like a gourmet mushroom um, gourmet mushrooms they were dried so I had to reconstitute them and then chop them up and totally delicious so it was a mushroom sauce that I made pasta sauce and it would have come out a little bit better had I some had some Merlot red wine to add I didn't have any yeah I haven't had any red wine in the house since my daughter had left to Kentucky her and I usually have drink some red wine together but there's that okay so let's get her set aside okay okay so now oh let me get some more black cardstock now these were part of my oops scraps but I think that might work I think they're long enough yes so let me cut slice these down okay this was some scraps which is pretty cool because I can use these lines to slice them straight should have done <laughs> okay let's see if I can get the center of this thing right here ah. oh my goodness you probably don't want to watch this, but what I'm going to do is I should cut up all my strips and then come back and show you what I've done. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this video isn't extra long. I'm going to cut all my little strippies. Okay. Let's zoom in. And I think I like my soji this way. I'm not going to do all those little tiny lines because they have flat paneled ones just like this. Oh. And then I'm going to cut all these little pieces, parts in the end. And that's going to take some. So there's my soji screen. My, so, my shoji. There we go. So I'll glue it down just something like that. So what do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? It's actually beautiful, isn't it? I think I like those panels better because if I start adding these tiny strips to it, let's see. Ay, 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 this is like fine work stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy. See, can you, if you add those little panels, let's see if we could do this. Let's just try. Let's just give it a go. These and cut these in half. All right, let me cut it real quick and show you guys. Let 
then you put these little panels down and they start looking like these okay my overhead fan I should have turned it off and I didn't I didn't they have these longer panels I, I know what you're thinking I am thinking it too why do I want to go through this tedious work well because it's a cool idea <laughs> it's just laying it out see how this camo camo I see that would have these little boxed things there. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Should we? Should I go for it? If I do, I'm gonna pause the video and do all this tedious work by off screen, and then come back and show you what it looks like. Um. Hmm. Long panels or boxed boxes. Okay, I'm going to pause and then put this together and then come right back, okay? All right. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'll be right back. Okay, I thought I would come back and Add the last two strips of my Soji screen. So you saw that I had all these little tiny um, strips of cut out, and it's almost one eighth. I'd say. Oh, would would that be one and one sixteenth of an inch? Um. You can see, right, I'm going from the, I'm lining up this mark right here with the uh, one and the edge of this black strip right there. And it's about right here. So that'd be one and one, it'll be one sixteenth of an inch, not one and one sixteenth. It's one sixteenth of an inch. Okay. Okay. And I had I had used one, two, three, one, two, three strips. So six tiny um, one sixteenth of an inch strips like this. Okay, and then I measured. Oops, let me get this. I measured my bag width. Oh, the reason why I tend to go over here is because my mat is warped right here, and I don't think it's going to give me a true measurement because it's been it's warped. So let's see. Let's come right here, and my bag measures one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven and three quarters right so what I did was I measured it between the eight inch kind of like left a one eighth and um, space here one eighth space in here and then I just divided these panels okay in four equal parts and that's where I knew to lay my one sixteenth strips and then I came back here and I glued it down and then I came over here and measured this and this is one two three four five six six inches and so um, how did I do that let's see hang on right I went I took every two inch to mark out 
where I want to put the main, the, like the, the larger, this is about a one eighth of an inch wide strip to create like the frame. So this is from here to here's two inches, from here's two inches. And I laid it down like that, like so. So I put one frame here, so it starts off two inches, and I went in two inches, and that's how I marked my panels. Okay, and that's how I knew how many of these I needed three, because I wanted these panels to be the same width. Um, I probably didn't just explain that correctly. So what I did was, once I knew, it, I spaced these out first, right? Before I put these thin strips down, I laid the big frames out first. Then I decided, okay, well, I need three strips because if these are spaced two inches, this is two inches, this is two inches, then I want to put the thin strips at the middle of the, you know, at the middle of the two inches. So here's a two inch block, two inch block and two inch block. I wanted to lay a strip here, lay a strip, thin strip here and right here. And that's what gave me this, these windows, this window effect. So pretty much what I did was I laid everything out and yes, I still have my ceiling fan on and everything was getting blown away. So I just started, well, okay, I'm just going to start gluing everything down. Oh, oh, excuse me. So that's what I'm doing. And this is, I'm just showing you right now how I line it up. So I did that, my little paperweight there. Yep, that's the paperweight. And then I'm going to go ahead and right here at this two inch, the two inch, I go one, two, in, and that's where I'm going to lay the strip. Okay, so I'm going to glue this side. Okay, come on, glue. Come on. Ah. You don't expect it. You squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and then a big glob comes out. And I think I put too much glue. Yeah, let's just spread this out. Oh. There. And then I'm just going to lay it. I'm going to line it up here and I'm going to line it right up here. I'm going to center it up. If you don't lay it down fast enough, this thing dries. Look at it split. Oh my goodness, I've got glue pieces. Thank goodness I have my pokey tool. I'll pick those little pieces parts off, but it's coming off of my fingers. Okay, so now we got this strip laid down. And now we're going to lay this strip. So I'm going to come from this edge two inches in. And now it's spaced every two inches, the frame. Okay. Okay. Better hurry up because my overhead fan is wanting to dry this glue up. Ah. I moved my paperweight. Oh. Meanwhile, my glue is drying. 
because I did not set that straight. Okay. And then I'm going to lay this down. Hey. And then lay that straight down. You know, it's not going to be perfectly lined up, but it's going to be nearly there. I'm just kind of like, let's press that down. Thank God this glitter glue dries clear, right? Now. Okay. Okay. Press that down and then I'll trim these little edges off. And then I'll show you what we have. Okay, so let's do this. Turn it around. And then let's trim. Okay, now let's put this back together. Okay, let's kind of clear that desk off. And where's my other little panel? Put it back here. Yep. Okay, here's the panel. I'll go put this back here. Okay. Now, when you see this, it kind of looks wonky, right? Like bendy, kind of like, just not really distressed, but it's, you know, it doesn't lie flat, but I'm okay with that because, remember, I'm going with a sort of a grunge look, okay, with this. All right, let me zoom you out. Okay. Well, let's go back in. Okay, so I'm going to show you. But let me get these out of the way before they end up falling off my table. Ugh. Okay. Yikes, because I'm going to save all those strips because I'm going to need them. So I cut these thin strips to do these windows one sixteenth of an inch okay these thin strips right here they're one sixteenth of an inch wide this is one eighth of an inch wide okay and so I needed one two three four five six six of these long strips okay and then I needed one two three four five six six of the one eighth of an inch strips, okay? And now I wanted to show you how pretty this looks. So when we're opening up our journal, we have this window, okay? Where am I in frame? Here we go. So we have this. And we open it up. We open up our second page. Oh, where'd it go? Hello. What happened? Ah, uh, so I put it in wrong. That doesn't help, does it? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, starting all over again. Okay. So you open up our soji. Okay, look how pretty that is, right? That glue will dry up clear. And look at how beautifully distressed. Once it's dry, look at how that looks. Looks like it has a distressed side of it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wait till you see it in person. And besides, 
I may just end up giving this journal away. Okay. Here we go. We're going to open up this journal. So here we open up our Soji. That's our oriental screen. And then we turn the first page. Then we got the second page. And we come to our signature. Okay. So this is our signature. This is where I will sew that. Okay. This is the first signature. And this is the spine. And I'll sew it in. And then you have a beautiful tuck spot. Okay, which will have tags or, and then I don't know what I'm doing right here to decorate. Haven't laid it out yet. Okay, these will be decorated. We'll go ahead and decorate this. So we're not going to attach these yet because I'll show you how they'll be attached. So we'll have a soji here, and then we got our two pages. One, two, okay. This will be decorated and then we turn, and then this, once we got these decorated, this, we will be gluing, putting glue here and here and then gluing this down. Actually glue here, right here, along this, right here and glue that down so it becomes a pocket, okay? Straighten that out. Okay, we turn our page. We'll decorate that. We'll decorate this. This is the pocket this page will turn. Okay, and then this becomes, oops, one too many, I guess. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. And we'll put a so, we'll be, how is this? Hang on a second, you guys. I think I just confused myself. How is this, what is going on here? Okay, there's this one. This one and this one. This will be this will be one signature it'll have other pages though okay so sorry for the confusion so it'll open up and then we have this pocket and then we have two more pages so it'll be one signature and then we'll have another one we'll make another soji for this one and then I gotta make two more of these okay so we'll have three sojis one, two, three sojis inside this journal. So we know that this, let's bring this bag back. It's going to be in here. Okay. This is the way our journal looks, okay? All of that will fit once we get it sewn in. Okay, that'll get sewn in tight. So then, here's our journal. We open it up. This comes down. We have, this will be pockets, like I showed you. We have other, these guys here to add. These are our pockets, okay, to put ephemera in. And then this can open up. in a portrait style like this and this is our first soji okay so this is our first soji screen so we'll have three total in here okay but they'll have more paper because we're going to add paper to this but we want to make we want to create all of our sojis first and then we can decide what other pa decorative paper we want to add because this will have enough paper to be a journal okay so this is what this is going to look like with our little beautiful floral doll here. Oops. 
with these flowers. Possibly. Not sure. Don't quote me on it. Don't know if I'm going to add them right here. Okay. So we have those flower elements. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, though. But I wanted to show you. We've got our little gal who's going to be like a decorative belly band with an elastic band that's going to attach to this journal. You'll remove it. Then you can open up your journal. This will have little closures here. It'll be some oriental stuff though. It might be an oriental coin. And then you open it up and then you've got the ephemera pieces that you want to look in here. This will probably have a little cover so that ephemera won't... Oops, I'm not in frame. This will open up Okay, the journal opens up. I was going to put a real coin here. And then you open up your journal and you've got all your, this is going to have a flap that comes over it. So this doesn't, we don't lose any of this. So, and then this will open up down here. Everything's going to lay flat. And then you take your, this is going to be decorated in here. We're going to decorate that. And then you open up your journal in this orientation. Okay? And then your Soji window. So here we go. This is our paper bag project that we are creating. Okay? Paper bag project with our Soji screen. Okay? So I hope that you guys like this video. It's another long video. I'm sorry. I will get better as I continue to do more. Um, I will be, um, we will be leaving to go to my granddaughter's birthday party. And then I will come back and do some more. Okay. I think while um, off camera, I'll go ahead and do the two other Soji screens and then when we come back from the next video on this paper bag we will start decorating these pages and that way we can set everything down and then pick papers to go in here like tea stain paper you know ledger paper things like that so I hope you guys like this Thank you guys again for visiting my channel. Please give me a like and share my videos if you like this content. And stay happy crafting.